by Greg McKettrick of Stanley's Pharmacy in, I believe you're in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's correct. And uh, I wanted to get Greg on a call to run through how he has implemented Berkey Life and integrated into his protocol for patient erectile dysfunction. And as I was saying just before we started, Greg, the reason I'm t speaking to you is that, you know, you have taken Berkey Life professional and woven it into your protocol in probably the, one of the better ways that I've seen. Um, and that has, I suppose, seen the product grow and improve your patient outcomes. So I suppose initially just a bit of a background on Stanley's pharmacy and how you came to become focused on the area of sexual wellness in both men and women. Absolutely. So I appreciate the opportunity, John. I really do. Uh, I, I love getting this word out, but Stanley Specialty Pharmacy has been around for about 15 years. And actually it's Stanley Apothecary has been in Charlotte over a hundred years. It's just kind of grown and developed, but, uh, we are a specialty compounding pharmacy, so you know, our focus is on maybe not your, your traditional pharmaceutical patients. Patients that come to us typically have needs that can't be met through the corner drugstores. Um, and a big part of my focus over the course of about the last three, three and a half years has really been in male sexual wellness, sexual function, erectile dysfunction. Um, so I work very closely with my partners in uh, urology practice. And we act as a, a, a referral for a lot of them to, to help their patients. And over the course of time, we've started to develop more and more uh, practice points that, that can benefit the patients and we see great results. And um, so it, it's been a evolution, so to speak, over the years as we've kind of honed this down to what we consider now to be a pretty successful program. And I'm very glad to say that not quite a year now, but, but over throughout this last year, we've really had the, uh, the great pleasure of incorporating the Berkeley Life nitric oxide product and test strips into our program. And you'd mentioned that, you know, in your interaction with urologists that you found that you were solving a pain point they had in terms of their ability to spend time on the aftercare, if you will, for their patients as it relates to erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Um, so again, because of the way we work with our patients, a lot of them will be sent to us or will will find them years down the road from when their issues had developed. And some patients uh, whether it be from blood pressure, diabetes, or prostate cancer, they've suffered with ED for years, decade, and mm -hmm. had no treatment or no satisfactory treatment. And for a lot of them, as we know, you know there is such a phenomenon as, as use it or lose it. And uh, you know, when when they go through this, they tend to lose adequate blood flow. They they have a lot of atrophy. And that's left them where some of the kind of standard, what their internal medicine doctor or their primary care doctor might prescribe for them, just won't cut it for them anymore. Um, and and in the, I suppose, as you came across Berkey Life, and I believe we met you at a conference in Asheville, I think yep. it was last August or so, you had obviously tried other nitric oxide products and what was it in what you saw with Berkey Life Professional initially and then what you saw when you started to implement it that you felt was different or unique or something that you, you know, felt compelled to switch over to Berkey Life? So, yeah, and, and we had and, and we had used different nitric oxide boosters because obviously we understand the importance of healthy nitric oxide for the patients. But the great thing that happened at the conference that really struck me was um, the ability to correlate the test strip with the product. Uh, that was one of the fundamental keys that I immediately saw could benefit my practice. Uh, when we were there, we, we actually were with your rep and, and we did the tests and then were given samples of the product and then retested a few hours later and saw a significant jump 
immediately. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a clinician and having used a lot of different products, started to look into it and, and learn more about the difference in terms of the ingredients. Um, the fact that majority of my patients fall into the, I'd say, 50 year plus age group really became evident that most of the products that I was promoting weren't adequate. The, uh, the fundamental ingredient in most of those products was the L-arginine. And once we started doing the tests internally and with our patients, your product using the potassium nitrate and beetroot gave significant better results. And again, just because of the, the ability for these patients to metabolize that potassium nitrate and, and convert into systemic nitric oxide was huge. And, and you mentioned that you integrated the test strip, you know, as well as I've seen it done and your initial outreach to the urologist and other clinicians that you work with that the test strip was, you know, they got it, they understood it, but they didn't, I suppose, take it seriously, if you will. What changed that or how did you, you know, bring them around to appreciating the test strip as a, an accurate diagnostic at one point, but also something that is effective engage in engaging patients. So I, I guess I would call it trickle up <laughs> because yeah, my initial approach and my initial thought to it was I'm going to take these test strips and I have a relationship with uh, the, the largest groups, the urology groups throughout both North and South Carolina. And you know, my initial thought was I'm going to position the test strips with these physicians they can do a quick nitric oxide assessment in office and then either you know, they'll recommend or they'll sell the product themselves. And, you know, the, again, physicians that I talk to, they are generally very receptive, but it just didn't immediately click for them. So we started doing the testing in office. So we had patients when they would come in and a big focus that we had were, were the patients that were ED patients and, you know, we're correlating for them the relationship between the, the PDE5s, the, the you know, Viagra, Cialis, the Vitras, um, and how they rely on the, the body's source of nitric oxide. So once we started testing patients and the patients could see the result, they saw the test and then started taking the product, well, the next thing that happens is we're getting phone calls saying, wow, why didn't anyone show this to me before? This is great. My function has improved. Well, that same patient is then going back into the doctor's office. Well, I guess it doesn't take more than two or three patients to show up singing the same song when mm -hmm. the phone started ringing, the doctors were calling me and it was, tell me some more about what's going on with this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like I said, it, it's, a, it's a great relationship when these physicians, you know, some of them have been in practice for 30 years and they're calling you up and you're basically talking about such a fundamental element that can benefit so many aspects of their patients' lives. Um, so it really, like I said, I, I think that our outreach to our patients trickled up to the prescribers who have at this point now accepted that this should be part of every patient's regimen. Um, and I have more than one of my groups who has basically said, we're adopting this. This is, this is part of our internal protocol now. Um, and, you know, we felt when, uh, of course, COVID came around, we didn't have the foot traffic. We weren't, we weren't opening our lobby to our patients. So you know, the, uh, the nice thing that kind of came to mind was, well, we're shipping product out. Let's put together a way that we can ship this out to the patient. We started sending the, uh, the test strips with informational inf uh, uh, pamphlets. And then, you know, after we had discussed and you guys were able to put together that great testing card uh, that, that shows the, the color chart and the instructions and being able to put that in every bag and send it out to every household and not just the male patients, female patients as well, that immediately generated 
more business because the patients were doing the test and you know i think i've shared with you some of their responses where you know they do the test and like where do i get the product i am i am absolutely deficient what do i have to do so the ability to do that incorporate that test trip and use it like i said the the patient is your best salesman because they're going back into that physician hey the physician works for the patient mm -hmm. and when when your patient's coming in saying this is working for me they pay attention and do you find that patients outside of the erectile dysfunction realm, um, when they start taking note of their nitric oxide levels, that it is a progression into a broader health conversation? So they're deficient in nitric oxide, and that's just a starting point for you then to say, okay, let's let's look at your health overall, and you know what protocol works best for you. Yeah, and again. I, I say that, you know, our relationship with our patients is a little different. We are not your corner big box pharmacy where, you know, if you're fortunate, you get 30 seconds time actually interaction, interacting with, with staff there. We have consultative services with our patients. So, yeah, we do intakes with them. We go over their whole health profile. And this is a key to really establishing our measures for, for how we approach patients and how we introduce them to different therapies. And again, a little bit different maybe than, than some pharmacies you might be used to, but you know, once we meet with the patient, we then send the recommendations to the physicians so that they can prescribe. And that's where I think we have the best influence is once we have a really good picture of the patient's overall health and uh, we can better serve them, their physician can better serve them. So in, in the end of it, the patient benefits. And I, I know we, we spoke before also about the, the bigger protocol that you've built around uh, erectile dysfunction and treating patients on that front. So if anyone was interested in learning more about that, you know, is there somewhere that they can go to get some information or is there a website that they can go to to learn more? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the best thing they can do is contact us. Um, mm -hmm. the, the protocol that we use has been significant. There, there's, there's a huge void in patient care for, uh, for patients, especially patients who've undergone uh, radical prostatectomies or have had uh, radiation treatment for prostate cancer. Most of them are left with significant erectile dysfunction and many of the physicians, just because they're the time involved in the aftercare isn't afforded to the patient, uh, the, the patients don't know who to talk to. So the protocols that we use reestablish healthy blood flow. And, you know, John, I'm, it's, it's no secret. We use your product. We have that in our printed protocol, uh, which has been adopted by some of the largest urology practices in the Southeast. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a key component. And I have physicians who not only do they refer the patients to us for this, but then they see the benefit and they see the follow-up. They physically, palpably can tell the difference with patients when we've been able to reestablish the healthy blood flow. So you know, I encourage anyone who has an interest in this, uh, um, contact us. You know, my my email is easy. It's Greg at StanleyRx.com. But you know the StanleyRx.com website does have a lot of our information on there. Um, so you can certainly reach out. Um, also with the the Stanley Pharma Group, uh, which is more the consultative side. So I'm very happy to discuss this at length with anyone who has an interest. Great. Okay, well, I appreciate the time and, you know, obviously your experience is hopefully something that will be valuable to other people looking to implement a similar protocol. And when, when I do post the video, I'll make sure to include, maybe not your email, but uh, I'll include the, your, your URL so people can, can reach out and, and learn more and, you know, potentially we'll do a webinar sometime in the future.